Yay! 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 You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Congratulations, Rose, on your new office. I wish you all the success in the world, and we look forward to doing lots of business with you at Home Trust. Thank Congratulations. You. Okay. Congratulations, Rose, on a beautiful office. Uh, you've already been a successful uh, mortgage representative for mortgage architects. You're going to do even better in the future. Congratulations to you. That's me. I got in here for you. So this is uh, Rose Amy. Uh, she just had a ribbon cutting to formally open her new office in North York. So Rose, what is this all about? This is about having my own personal office space where I can help our fellow Kababayans more than before because before this office, I would just meet people at coffee shops wherein people can probably, other people can probably hear what we're talking about. So there's not a lot of privacy. Here we can have a lot, our own privacy. I can explain to them everything that they need to do about their mortgage. And also, if I miss their call or uh, it's time for them to renew their mortgage, maybe they couldn't find me, they can always come by here, drop by here, and ask us anything about their mortgage. So when, uh, the other reason why I also got this um, establishment is to help our Kababayans fulfill their dream of owning their uh, home in Canada. I also want to help them build their credit or rebuild their credit for those people that has bad credit and help them deal with their debt through debt consolidation program that we have in this office. Okay, Rose. Yeah, you mentioned that you're going to help the community, uh, I mean, the people in the community to build up their credit and, you know, to have their mortgage. How are you going to do that? You mean the debt consolidation? Yeah. Okay, uh, debt consolidation means uh, taking an equity from the value of your home to pay off your debt. For example, if the current value of your property is $100,000, you owe fifty thousand dollars as your mortgage. It means you can borrow or get thirty thousand dollars from the equity of your house to pay towards your debt. Because if you currently you have a thirty thousand dollar debt and you're paying twenty eight percent in interest rate, which is compounded monthly, it's better for you to actually get the thirty thousand from the property or from your home at 2.65% rather than pay 28% on 30,000. That way you have a lower monthly payment and you can pay it off faster rather than paying regular monthly payments on your credit card. So Rose, uh, how, how are you different from the other mortgage uh, brokers or mortgage agents? Well, we are different in this office in the sense that we will take care not only of your mortgage needs today, but we are also concerned about how you can afford to pay that mortgage on a monthly regular basis without impacting 
your um, your current way of living okay so for example right now you have kids that has activities or you can afford to go to movies once every two weeks we want to make sure that you will be able to continue to do all these activities and still carry the mortgage we I, I will not give you a mortgage that you cannot afford that's why we have a budgeting system where you can come here and I'll ask you all these questions about how you spend your money and then we'll incorporate that in a budget to make sure that you can afford that mortgage and pay off that mortgage faster and you do not resolve into dipping your hands into your credit card or line of credit because you are on a negative on a monthly regular basis. Okay, uh, so if people are needing your help, uh, how are they going to contact you? Is it by phone, by email, or by personal visit? Um, we will start to advertising in the near future, and on a monthly regular basis, we will be here to conduct a seminar uh, that features real estate update, mortgage update, real estate, estate law, and mortgage insurance. So all these things are important for consideration when you are actually applying for a home. So for people who have no money, as against people who have money, how can you help them? For people that has no money for a down payment, I can help them uh, through the RSP loan program. And there are other ways that they can save up money towards the down payment and closing costs. We also have programs where in, um, we have a cashback program. And uh, for people that doesn't have, that does have money, we have investment programs wherein the ROI is up to 12%. So if they invest 100,000, for example, as an example, then um, the return is uh, um, up to 12% of 100,000, which is $12,000 per year. The investment is actually invested towards private mortgages. So the, the uh, property, there's a property that is registered against their name. So for example, Romy, if you are going to invest, let's say $50,000 for a private mortgage, your name will be registered against the property or the house where your 50000 went to, okay? So you, you are made sure and secure that whatever happens to that house, you're gonna get your money back. Okay, so Rose, you are very much aware that there are a lot of Filipino caregivers in Toronto. Can you help them? Well, definitely. In fact, I've helped a lot of caregivers uh, own a home. If your SIN number starts with 9, you can definitely purchase a house now, even with a 9 SIN number. And also, if you need help building your credit faster, I can help you with that. We have a program for that as well. So whatever your issues or concerns are, you can always come to us and let us help you realize your dream of home ownership in Canada. Okay, thank you.